In the mad, crazy world of Pulse Chain, I'm always looking for the brand new dApps. Get in early, make your ROI, ride it all the way through, make as much Pulse Chain token as possible, wait for the impending pump of Pulse Token, Pulse X Token, and the entire ecosystem, and become a millionaire of Pulse, right? That is the plan. So today we're talking about a brand new project that just launched on Pulse Chain. I believe it's one day old. It's called Pulse FOMO. Ooh, I'm feeling Ooh, the FOMO. FOMO. So we're going to go in with it. So first thing we're checking out is Pulse FOMO. Let's check it out. Right here we are. Nice sight <laughs> going through time. Right. If I was to explain this very basically, um, you come in here and you want to buy hearts, right? You're buying hearts with Pulse Chain token. The later you get into the dApp, the more expensive hearts are going to be. Eventually, after 18 hours, if no more hearts have been bought, the contract will drain. And the last person to buy hearts will get 75% of that. But between now and this time, as more people continue to buy hearts and the timer resets back to 18 hours, then uh, whoever is holding hearts will get dividends from those heart purchases, right? That's how I understand it. They have a bunch of other things going on. And we're going to look through it very quickly. But before I get into that, we just, it's called Pulse FOMO. I've already put in a little bit of Pulse. Uh, I put in more than that. I can't see where it is though. Eh, anyway, we're going to put more in. <laughs> so luckily I've been playing Whales Candy over here, right? There's a Whales Candy. It's been going really well. I've officially ROI'd on Whales Candy we have first thing to do would be to uh, well, second thing to do is get into the auction here because i've been in the auction every single day that's my strategy to getting roi and continue to get roi by getting more and more of the token right i don't I haven't even looked at the price chart in ages now I'm just taking the token um but that means that yeah so in whales candy have now in up to 10 almost 11 million pulse token above way above roi for it so that's great and I have 4 million pulse here, which I want to put into this FOMO thing, because it seems like it's just get it done now as fast as possible and then, you know, ride it till then. So how much would that be? Let's try to figure this out. <laughs> Boom. Okay, there we have our 4 million. So I just times the price of one heart by the amount of money that I want to spend essentially to do that. And then we'll send that in. So we're going to send in 4 million pulse, right? Right into this. Let's just get going. That's why it's called FOMO, right? Because essentially you want to um, bringeth the sledgehammer, essentially, right? Make your first purchase, your biggest plan purchase to make sure that um, you're not buying. Because if anyone buys after you, then the price of heart's going to go up. So we'll see a couple things happen when we make that purchase. The timer will reset to 18 hours again. The total invested in this so far is 402 million pulse. So that's why I went in with four pulse, four million pulse. I want to get a large amount of this supply. Uh, distributed rewards has been 347 million pulse already, which is ridiculous. Uh, the time purchase so far has been 2,000 years, right? quite a lot um so let's check out the docs firstly to get to know this even more how does this game that i shouldn't play work a friend of mine asked there is a jackpot a dividend system a referral system and a burn pot game four things in this game combined with four teams to choose from each with their own characteristics and to determine where your pls goes most the perfect ingredients for an exit scam and a war with others who disagree with you there's a timer that can reach a maximum of 18 hours each full heart purchase adds 37 seconds to the timer to put it simply whoever bought the last heart before the timer reaches zero drains 75 percent of the entire contract isn't that fantastic to refresh your memory the winner of the original fomo game this was firstly put in ethereum years ago 2020 or something 2018 possibly um won 20 000 ethereum which is quite a lot of money even if you're not playing to be the blast buyer also here the rule of thumb is that the earlier you buy hearts the richer you'll get sounds scammy but it's reality hearts go up in price as the game progresses so those who do fight for the last buy will have to pay more and more per hour so that's why I FOMO'd in quickly there with the 4 million pulse because I don't plan on putting in a, a bigger bag than that, right? Uh, it's risk capital for me, okay? So by putting in the 4 million, I now have bought my uh, hearts at the best possible price that I think it's going to be. Has the timer reset again? 
Um, possibly. The round has uh, not reset. Okay, so no one else has come in recently. Now, this means that uh, the timer will go down, will not always stay at 18 hours, because like it says, hearts will gradually get more expensive. And as hearts get more expensive, that means that this timer will not be able to fill up to maximum, right? More and more capital, more and more PLS will need to be used to deposit into it to build up more time. Eventually, no one will be willing to pay the ridiculous amount of PLS to keep the timer going up, and that last person to put the purchase in will get the 75% of the pot. You can choose between Richard, who gives you Pulse Got the Pot and Dividends, the most balanced distribution, Vitalik, who gives you dividends more and less goes to the pot. This is the pot here, we'll check that out soon. Jack Levin, most to the pot, because he wants to bully the dividend distribution and destroy Pulse Chain, I guess. And Justin Sun, slightly less balance ratio, a bit more to the pot, a bit less the dividends. So I went with Richard. Why? It just it doesn't really matter to me, okay? Um, I didn't think about it that deeply. <laughs> it's not rocket science, and it's true, it's not rocket science. So there will be two camps, the end runners who want to drain the contract and constantly have to fight to be the last buyer, spending more and more PLS token to get to be the last buyer, which drives up the heart price, and the dividend collectors who benefit from the end run, who went in heavy early on. That would be me, right? That's my play. Uh, the burn pot, the alternative for people who want to free pulse or want to play the game for free cheap skins so here's the burn pulse get paid for each transaction seven percent goes to the burn pot the person who burns the collective pulse in the burn pot gets 13 percent of that seven percent of the burn pot so for example right now the burn pot has in it uh, nothing it's been burned out right so all you have to do is sit here and wait yeah pretty much waiting like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. And then when you see that suddenly some PLS has gone in here, snipe, right? Probably someone's already bought this, right? Um, so every time you see it, snipe it, snipe it, snipe it, and you get yourself free pulse just by watching this contract, okay? Um, is a good way to do it. So what I could do is wait till I publish this video, then sit and watch the burn pot. And as people use my referral link to go in, I can also burn out their stuff. But I probably won't be doing that because I, I don't have the time. But that could be one way to play this game. There's lots, a couple of ways to profit from this, right? Timing, uh, one other thing I want to look at here, timing your heart purchases when to buy. T strategic timing is key in Pulse FOMO. Observing the countdown timer becomes essential as the last player to purchase a heart before it reaches zero claims the jackpot. Players must analyze the timer, anticipate their opponent's moves, and strategically place their heart bids to maximize their chance of winning. This is going to be massive whale play once this gets going. Team dynamics and rewards. Joining a team adds a new dimension to the gameplay. Richard, Vitalik, Jack, or Justin. Teams compete against each other for victory and have different levels of distribution. When a round concludes and a winner is determined, the team pot is distributed among team members based on their individual contributions, incentivizing collaboration and team strategy. I guess. Referral system. PulseFOMO's referral system encourages team growth and rewards teams for expanding their player base. Each user has a unique referral link. When new players join that link, they become part of the game. The team receives a percentage of the hearts purchased by these referred players, amplifying the team pot and enhancing rewards for all team members. Dividends earn rewards for participation in PulseFOMO. The more hearts you purchase, the higher your divs. So, for example, with my 4 million purchase there, one person bought in, then I can come here to Vault and now I should have some more div. Yeah, before I had 5,000 pulse, now I have 8,000 pulse, total gains 67 cents. Look at me go, whoopity doo. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the dividend system in Pulse Formal encourages players to adopt a long-term investment strategy. Holding hearts and actively participating in the game not only increases their chances of winning the jackpot, but also ensures a continuous flow of dividends over time. Because you do have the choice to buy more hearts with your divs, right? So I have the 8,000 PLS there. I could then choose to come back to purchase and take 8,000 PLS, which I guess would be 20,000 hearts, would be 7,000 PLS. I could use my vault PLS right there, just as an example, right? Click that, ledger up, rubber up, uh, costing me 800 PLS. I'm going to lose uh, 800 PLS, right? Using that vault 8,000 PLS to then buy myself 20,000 more hearts. Why not, right? Yeah. You could compound this. Another strategy, um, this was actually brought to me by uh, Christoph in the DAO. I think it was Christoph. Um, and he's already ROI'd because, yeah, he got in earlier than me and 
used his uh used his divs claimed out his divs and now he's just going to compound his divs now it's because every time anyone's getting into this now we're all earning dividends right anyone coming in after you you earn dividends on them oh someone else just claimed there but the pot also isn't here i've been crypto mischief hope you enjoyed today's video be good to each other don't get wrecked